All right, so this video is our first uh, interactive R video, and it assumes that you have already followed the instructions to download and install both um, R and R Studio. And so what I've done here is I have launched R Studio, and this is uh, close to what you should see when you first launch R Studio. R Studio will automatically load R. So in this case, we've got three different windows going here. We're going to spend most of today working here in the console window. And then I've uh, got a couple other windows here, the environment window. Uh, you may see some stuff pop up in here. And then uh, the window down here uh, that has a bunch of different tabs is one that we'll wind up uh, working with later on. But for today, we're just going to mostly focus on things in the console window, just to show you, um, you know, how R works. And so what I'm going to do is to show you that you can use R as an extremely fancy calculator. Uh, so for example, here at the console line, if I just type in 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 9, and then press enter, R is going to return 18. So, okay, it does know how to calculate or how to add. Um, I could do something like 144, then use the caret symbol that's up above uh, 6, 144 squared. And it's going to calculate that, 20,736. Uh, this really knows uh, order of operations also. So I could do 144 uh, to the 0.5 to the 1 half power divided by 2 times 10. And that's going to give me 60. And it's a little fancier than that too. So for example, if I want to take the square root of a number, I can type in SQRT of 100. And lo and behold, it knows that's 10. Um, and then, you know, it also can calculate logarithms. So I could calculate the log of 5. And that's going to give me 1.609. And a word of caution here on log in R is the natural log. So, for example, you might have noticed when I started typing, uh, RStudio actually comes up with some uh, suggestions for me. So if I really wanted log base 10, there's a log base 10 function. Um, so, you know, log base 10 of 100, 2. Okay. And uh, other things, like if I type in pi times 4, so R knows what pi is. And so as I'm doing this, I also suggest that you try typing in some of these things as well. So that's it. So here you go. I've got the world's fanciest calculator with R.